Hey, crypto family. Hope y'all doing good. So today we're going to cover a story by CEO Twitter, Jack Dorsey. But first, let's talk about some market analysis. So looking at the market today, you can see mostly everything is stagnant or up or down a couple percent. Bitcoin's up 0.21% to $10,594. And most of the altcoins are down a couple percent. Now, Bitcoin's dominance is, is ticking higher at 70.8%, so up from 70.5% yesterday. Looking at the chart here, we can see on the four hour that Bitcoin has still stabilized around that 200 day moving average. You can see it's right at that $10,600 mark. Now, it did go up to a high of 10,879, but has since fallen back. So you can see here that 10,800 level is providing some initial resistance. So we're gonna have to look to break above that and then break above this $11,000 resistance. Now, looking at the RSI, it's great to see that's reset a little bit. So it's down to that 65 level. Yesterday, it was higher at that 70 level. So again, some more room to run up if it does rally from here. Now, you can see longs have continued to increase. So you can see longs, 27,000 contracts of longs versus nearly 11,000 for shorts. So longs and shorts are steadily increasing. We'll look at the daily chart here. You can see, again, past few days, longs have taken a nice uptick. So you know, that could be seen as a good or bad thing. Basically, if you see it as more longs, you know, could this push the price up? Yes, but usually there is a reversal. If there's so many longs, you know, shorts do tend to get greedy. And I could see a lot of short selling, some short selling pressure very soon. So again, going to look at that as we near these resistance levels and just keep an eye on that if we do have a reversal. Now, first story is about Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, and it's a Cointelegraph article. And it says, Square Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey says Bitcoin is not functional as a currency. Now, Jack Dorsey loves Bitcoin, but again, he's saying that it's not quite there yet for a currency use. It says Bitcoin will continue to be adopted more widely, but he says it's still too early to consider it a currency. On September 4th, the outspoken Bitcoin advocate told the Australian Financial Review that he is convinced the number one cryptocurrency will continue to be adopted more widely. However, Dorsey added, quote, it's not functional as a currency. The peaks and troughs are like an investment asset and are equivalent to gold. What we need to do is make it more usable and accessible as a currency, but it's not there yet. So basically saying, again, there needs to be more ways to accept Bitcoin. It needs to become a little bit more stable and just mainly just more access points to transact Bitcoin. So again, it's not quite there yet, but he still does believe in it. Now, this is a guy here who has access to millions and millions of followers. So he has a big influence on social media. And he actually, his company Square, he launched that back in November 2017, that he added Bitcoin, which would be a trading option. And it prompted that stock to soar by $1 billion in five days. So basically in this article, he's just saying that, you know, eventually Bitcoin will be a currency. But first, he needs more businesses and more accessibility for it to be transacted. So again, this is something good I like to see because it shows that he still has faith in Bitcoin. But, you know, eventually he sees that for it to grow, again, there needs to be that mainstream adoption that we have yet to see. But again, he still believes in it. And even though it's not technically a functional currency, um, basically mainstream, everyone's using it right now, it still is a great store of value. So we'll just see it continue to grow in that aspect and then eventually form into that payment option where everyone can use it. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment if you have any questions, and please subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, thanks for watching.